younger sister, if you do good stuff, then you encourage them to want to do good stuff. Remember, if you do bad stuff, then the person that's beyond you, the person that's younger than you would do bad stuff. So if you have an older sister or an older brother, I want y'all to remember that you should always be a good example, a good example of them. And the best example is to do things so that they will learn to do it. Thank you. Well, the next question that you said um, before this one, um, I got a chance to clean up the front yard. Okay, the front yard. Okay, good. I'm I'm really proud of y'all because most kids be like, I don't do nothing. I don't do nothing that I ain't asked to do, and they show don't do nothing extra. But I'm gonna tell you all something. Uh, when you volunteer to do stuff that you have not been asked, most times you're gonna get a blessing that you weren't expecting. Because if you really want a parent to be proud, you come home and be like, I got to go in here and clean up my room. No, you don't. I already cleaned it up for you. I got to go in here and run my bath water. No, you don't. I know you're coming home. I already ran it. You're talking about really, I mean, standing out, being the super kid in the house. I'm trying to help you. Me and my sister, when my, when my mama be getting out for work, she be asking for a full massage for money. <laughs> and, and we be massaging her foot. We get 20. Y'all don't take the money, though, do you? <laughs> you know, we could take your money, Mom. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't be here. It'd be like $2. Okay, all right. So it's a low low, low budget. Okay, yeah. I got you. So, Miss Kid, what you got to say about, about that, about kids stepping up and uh, as a parent, kind of point out how they can get some real good, genuine extra points when they are proactive. Well, I am not a parent, but <laughs> um, when you are responsible for little people um, and responsible for a whole lot of other things, sometimes it can get overwhelming just trying to juggle everything. And so um, it's relieving to have uh, some of the kids sometimes say, well, Miss Kia, do you want me to do this? Like, even if they're at my house, Miss Kia, you want me to take the trash out for you? Or Miss Kia, you want me to fold that for you? Yeah. Want me to help you with this or that? So it just takes off, um, it releases or relieves a lot of the pressure um, of just having to think about everything or handle everything on your own. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, if for nothing else, it relieves some pressure. And think about it now, when you relieve pressure, then you may invite other good stuff. Because you think about it, you come home and, uh, okay, I don't have to do that. Well, if I don't have to do that, why don't I just take you to Incredible Pizza? <laughs> or why don't I take you out? Because it's like uh, most times when you do stuff on your own, you're going to get rewarded. Because a parent was like, what? She washed the dishes and I didn't tell her? I mean, they get ready to go to the dick. Ah, they're already done. So now the dishes uh, are done. Now y'all can go get ice cream. Or y'all can go out and have fun. So uh, I just want to encourage all of you all to uh, always try to help your parents out as much as possible. When you get older, you're going to understand it's not easy being a parent. And when you got brothers and sisters and uh, uh, your parents got to take care of all of you all, got to make sure that all of you all, uh, 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 some of y'all, it's four or five of y'all in the family. Four or five kids is 10 feet. <laughs> so that means you got to have 10 shoes. That's, that's just shoes. So now you got to have 10 socks. Now you got to have 10 tops. You got to have 10 bottoms. So you got 10 boots. I mean, it's like, it's all multiplied. And so your parents are getting out there and they're working hard so that you can have nice stuff. So the one thing would be nice is that when, you, when they come home, they should have to do as little as possible. So if you haven't been doing that, I want to encourage you all to do that, to help them out. Because the more, they, the more you help them out, most time, the more they're going to hook you up. Not that you do it for that. You know, so, so uh, uh, we I want to talk to you all about, um, you know, you got bullies. Uh, sometimes you have people don't like you. You have beef and you have trouble. And so I want to know, your hand be up. I don't even got to the question yet. You are good. You be reading my mind before I say it. Let me get my question out. Just stay ready. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 I'm going to start uh, with uh down here with Sasha, everybody that wants to answer this, and I'm gonna come over this. But how do you handle beef with other kids? If you have, if you have a uh, somebody don't like you, 
or they say something mean to you or do something mean to you, how do you handle it? Now, I need for you all to be honest. I can't help you all if you're not honest. If you be like, they hit me, I knock them out. I know that's not the right thing to do, so I have to help you understand why it's not the right thing. But if you don't be honest, I can't be. Because if you're sitting up there talking about, well, when somebody does something to me, I just pray for them right now. And I said, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, take care of Kalia. If you know you don't do that, don't tell that lie. But somebody have beef with you, how do you handle it? Uh, Honestly? I would tell a grown-up or, like, a grown-up that's close to me, like a teacher, if it's at school. Okay. Something. Okay. Great answer. Great answer. Uh, whenever you have conflict, always try to get somebody involved who can handle it. Because once you retaliate, both of you are end up getting suspended and it gets ugly. Come, come, on, come all the way up. I, well, when I get bullied or get pushed around, I would like, I would tell them to stop and then I would go to a grown up that I could trust. Okay. All right. Michelle, how do you handle somebody come in and just, just push you in the nose and say, you know, hit you in your head, say, girl, you ain't, you ain't going to do nothing? Do you pray for them? Do you uh, tell them about Jesus? Or what do you, what, how do you handle it, Michelle? Give us your, how does Michelle? Handle. Um, somebody, <laughs> somebody touch me. Um, first I tell them if no teacher don't do about it, I'm gonna have to handle it myself. Okay. <laughs> now, now you know that has consequences, right? Okay. So hopefully we're gonna try to stick with telling the teacher. Good. That's okay. I will tell the teacher. Then if they keep on doing it, I just walk away. Okay. So they're just pushing your head. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna, so you just walk away. Okay, good. Boy, you are really an angel. All right. You ever pan the mic? Somebody come and just, uh, uh, just bully you. I mean, just for no reason. I mean, just you know, being mean to you. How do you handle that? Well, I'll ask them like, what's the problem? And then, like, if they have, like, the wrong answer to it, I'll just, like, walk away and don't deal with them for the rest of the year. Okay, that's good. So <laughs> what that means is that everybody on this side, besides my shell, I probably would never have to worry <laughs> about you being in a fight, that there were, were no altercation. Now, my shell has admitted she's going to give you a chance to get it right. And if you don't, she might handle it herself. So, uh, uh. I, I talked to my baby off the camera about that. <laughs> but Michelle, you being you being honest. That's what that's what I want from y'all. Okay, let's start on this side and I'm gonna come back. Okay, Xavion. When I'm outside playing and when um uh, those boys are bullying, either I give them a chance to stop or I just ignore them. Or if they keep on doing it, I'ma uh do something about it. Okay. We like pray for them or tell them about Jesus or yeah. okay. Sure you. Okay. <laughs> my Tisha, first of all, I couldn't see nobody bullying my Tisha because she just, oh, my Tisha ain't going to say nobody. I don't know. <laughs> so what happened? My Tisha, have you got bullied before? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so how do you handle if somebody just pick on you for no reason? Okay, so you just ignore them, so you don't, okay. All right, Angel, have somebody pick on you. Somebody pick on me, and they tell stories on me. I'm going to get mad, and I'm going to run on the back step and disappear. Okay. You going to do what? Uh, if somebody pick on me, I'm going to get mad, walk out the door, and I'm going to throw everything on the floor, and then I'll come back and say sorry before, and then I'll run back on the back step. Okay, I, 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 just, I understood that Chinese. So... <laughs> <laughs> So, Ms. Kia, uh, uh, they've given some, some very good answers. Can you echo on how they should handle? Oh, go ahead. I forgot my kid. Go ahead. Uh, my kid about to file a grievance. Like, what about me? Uh, uh, I, uh, it ain't nice. Okay, it ain't, it ain't nice. Be nice. Okay, so you don't, you don't try to resolve it in a nice way try first? To make it nice. No. Okay. So, but, but you do understand when you don't, there's consequences. And you could have consequences that you wouldn't have to have if you handled it differently, right? No, I'm I ain't fighting. I ain't gonna fight them. Okay, so what you go? I'm gonna argue with them. You gonna argue with them? Yeah. But so most people that fight, how does this start? 
with argument. Argument, and then it grows. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna fight. We ain't gonna fight. Okay. All right. Okay. If you say so. So, Miss Kia, give us give us some uh, uh, some echo on that. You got a lot of ass. I want I want to wear your throat out. Go ahead. <laughs> um. So the question was, what should they do? Yeah, something. You know, they, they've, they've given they some good uh, answers, but you know, they've, they've given answers from a child's perspective, but from an adult's perspective, what would you uh, say to them in handling uh, resolution, especially? Uh, the ones they may have said that uh, they would handle it themselves. Well, um, well, it's a good thing that some of them know, well, probably all of them know that they should tell an adult mm -hmm. about being bullied or what's going on. Um, but I also heard somebody else um, say that they would, like, go to the person and ask them, like, hey, you know, talk to them and ask them, like, why are you, why are you bullying me? Because I, I know that a lot of times people that bully other people already have issues themselves. Like, so there's something wrong with them inside for them to want to bully somebody else or make somebody else feel bad about themselves. So it's good that they would want to go to another person and ask them, um, like, why are you trying to bully me? So that's a good thing, too. But um, I think the main thing is telling, the, telling an adult and then giving them a chance to uh, resolve it. Because a lot of times when two children try to... Uh, try to talk about what's going on or, or um, mm -hmm. handle the issue, it doesn't turn out well. They end up fighting because, you know, they end up arguing and then arguing leads to fighting, like you said. Okay. So, um, yeah. Okay. What you got, Angel? Uh, um, make sure you say it clear so I can understand. You be talking a uh, different language <laughs> on me. <laughs> they said you can talk, but you can't fight. Okay. They said you can talk, but you can't fight. Who is they? Um, I heard this. Like on a movie, this man, it was this girl. He was like, "Let's fight, let's fight." He was like, "You can talk, but you can't fight." But I was, and I just wanted to say it. Okay, well, bless your heart, <laughs> Miss Sasha. <laughs> so, um, we go to a school in O'Fallon, and if somebody bullies me, mm -hmm. I would tell the teacher to. Um, we have a bully teacher. Okay, that's good. In our school, so if somebody bullies me, I would say, "Can I go talk to Miss Buck, which is her name?" And then um, she will handle the problem. Okay. I have a question. Uh huh. Um, so I was wondering Ooh. if everybody under everybody understands what bullying is, because I know at the center where I work, sometimes like the kids will say, "Of." Oh, was they bullying me? And I'm like, okay, what did they do? And then they're like, it'll, they'll say something like, oh, they looked at me funny. That's not bullying. Uh -huh. So I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to see if like all the kids understand what bullying actually is. Give them a definition to make sure they can be on the same page on what. Well, like we took a bullying training uh, session and to identify bullying, it has to be like, I think like three things. Like if, um, if, the person that's being bullied seems to be like overpowered by somebody else. Mm -hmm. um, or if uh, they're being talked about or um, being picked on because of like, I don't know, like um, like their gender or, or right. religion. Or they or like perceived that. as being weak. Yeah. 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 So, so those are some of the things. Um, or just like the other person is bigger than, you know, mm -hmm. um, the one being bullied, stuff like that. Okay, like I said, bigger, I take your lunch money because I can. Yeah. Maybe. Um, a definition of bullying is when they pick on you, when they pick on you every day, every single day. Okay. Like, they don't just stop. Okay. 